Questions continue to arise concerning the coronavirus or COVID-19. The interim health officer of the Fresno County Department of Public Health shares with us some tips and facts we need to know to stay healthy and safe. This is a, a time of hardship for everyone, but again, we're not at the point where uh, we all need to be, you know, super panicked or alarmed. There's a lot of common sense things that we can all be doing to decrease everybody's risk level. Everyone has a role to play, and that really arms us and empowers all of us to be a part of the solution. The national experts at the CDC are saying that this is an infection that people spread uh, from person to person. The truth is most people just need uh, just a few days of just taking it easy. And now with all of these emergency declarations and the shelter in place, hopefully a lot more people have an excuse to just take it easy. The minute you develop symptoms, don't rush to get a test. Rush to go watch TV. Just go sit on a couch, drink a lot of fluids, make some chicken soup, and just chill out. And your own immune system fights viruses. You just have to give it time. So I know it's disruptive, it's, it's inconvenient, um, and I know that um, it's really having to change how we live our lives. But again, we're following really successful models in other countries, and in our own history, when we had outbreaks in the past, where all of these social distancing measures really were able to kind of flatten the peak of, of, of how many cases were seen. I bet this is the most closely tracked infection in the history of humankind. I mean, we know where every single case is happening, um, really at the, at the minute that it happens around the world. Uh, and that's never happened before. With the flu, we have a vaccine. And with the flu, the incubation period, um, which is kind of the biological property of that virus, is much shorter. So the incubation period for the flu is like three days, maybe five days. This virus, um, it's challenging us because there's not a vaccine and the incubation period is longer. So that, that just means that we just have to watch people longer before we can clear them. Really, the minute that you get sick, be aware of that. Um, don't panic. Most illnesses, even if they are COVID-19, are, are going to be very minor. Uh, so if you do start to get the sniffles or a tickle in your throat, um, then just, you, you know, pay attention to your own body. If you just take care of yourself, chances are you're going to feel rapidly better in just a couple of days. So, you know, if you can walk and talk and do all of your activities, you might have the crud, you might feel under the weather, but really if you can take care of yourself, at this time, please do. Because the worst thing that you could do is spread this infection. We as doctors are making the best decisions that we can, but we need all of our public, all of our civic leaders, um, all of our teachers, um, all of our parents to understand that this is a time when all of us need to come together as a community so we can work together and really understand that there's high risk and then there's not high risk. And it's really the high risk people that need medical attention right now. If you're older than 65, if you have other diseases, um, if you've got a history of immunocompromise for things like cancer, those are the people that we really do want to get tested and checked out. But for the rest of everyone else, stay calm, stay away from other people, and stay hydrated. Obviously at Public Health, we're watching that situation very closely. We are um, alerting the public every day with the case counts that we have. Much work is happening. Um, many, many uh, dedicated people are working hard to prepare and to ensure that vital services continue um, in spite of some of the restrictions that we're recommending to prevent the spread. And as we all know, the pace of the spread is what we're really trying to limit. Um, we know that in other countries, that pace, the quicker it is, the harder it is for hospitals to keep up. And so we're really just trying to slow it down so that our resources don't get overextended in a short period of time. What I think we should also look at is that there are some countries that have really beat this thing. And they have really done a good job with controlling their numbers and flattening the curve. And what did those countries do that was the right thing to do? Well, they implemented these social distancing measures and they really made sure that everyone knew to wash their hands, stay six feet apart, to really do all the things that the CDC is advising people to do. They got that done as early as possible. For more information on COVID-19, visit fcdph.org slash COVID-19 or communitymedical.org slash coronavirus.